This is a four meter, six meter choke balm. Stops your coax going up to the antenna from radiating. If you find you put your antenna up, but first of all you've checked it at low height, six, ten feet, and the SWR is perfect at your frequency and then you stick it up 30 foot and it's 1 meg, 2 meg higher you know, ladder out nightmare job that's because your coax going up to the antenna is acting as a is radiating part of the antenna so you need to make yourself a choke balloon simple job <clears throat> you see plenty on the internet mine seems to work for me it's not going to be a four meter one but it will work on four I'm taking to eight to six meters so it definitely will work on four <clears throat> it's made out of RG58 type coax URM76 better quality than 58 but you can use RG58 it's only a short <clears throat> you don't struggle to make one out of RG213 trust me nightmare job another nightmare job it won't make much difference to your antenna um, <clears throat> loss using this type of coax for your antenna from the choke then yeah 213 definitely you've got to but you can make it the choke balloon out of RG58 mine is URM76 what you need is this just the right size about two inches inch and a half and it just fits on there nice if you just wanted to make a four meter one it would be about eight turns around here that would be a half wave on four half wave length of coax on four <coughs> eight turns eleven turns will get you six but if you do six eleven turns it will work on four as well so it's eleven turns around this little can using super glue not tie wraps tie wraps are just squeeze the dielectric and change everything you have to take your time a bit of super glue here but wind it first hold it tight you may have to hold it to squeeze it a little bit while the super glue just starts to tack a few of the coils the turns and then you can release it and then start to go around it with the super glue and holding it for a few minutes once it's made you can then put maybe tie wraps around it because you're going to put tie wraps anyway to hold it to the to the boom aren't you but you don't have to squeeze it just as long as it doesn't move around don't squeeze it you don't need to squeeze it so 11 turns around here I've decided to just do a couple of turns first leave yourself about 8 inches free but just a couple of turns first just drop yourself of course you're going to have to keep it nice and tight drop yourself some super glue it's cheap enough in there it won't stick to that that tin that container if it does it will soon break when you twist it around push it down one good thing about this is it's got smooth ends look and you can soon slip it off 
there's nothing jagged not like a, a baked bean tin with an edge on it this is a smooth rounded edge and once you've done it it'll just you just work it off it's been nice and tight but you would work it off a little bit at a time and it'll be a super job right so that's done I'm going to slip now you see it's still still free and easy I did actually slip it off and put it into a small a small vise and just squeeze it a little bit just to hold it because it's red hot outside and I've got other jobs outside I'm doing so while that was just going off it's not as good as uh, you um, what was it called I did buy some, only 39 pence uh, so I bet I bought this um, because they didn't have the other one and it's not so fast acting your fingers stick to it all okay instantly and you've got to be very careful trust me you have don't get it on your fingers and start wiping your eyes because once it starts sticking to the bottle okay. any big job nightmare another nightmare so right time we to wind don't I mean I've got loads of coax on the end of this so I don't really want to be wipe, just winding the coax and holding the, the can the can needs to be wound uh, onto the coax just hold the coax taut don't, don't twist it maybe only put a few more turns on and then you know you haven't got a a mega lot to hold especially with this glue it doesn't seem to be so fast acting only on skin ah, see in a bit you can see I just blobbing in there in the gaps and then just you know put a bit of pressure on it with your, with your hands just to pull it in a little bit on a day like this it won't take long so what's that two four six eight or oh, three to go do it nice and steady you don't have to squeeze the life out of the coax and you won't lose much on this on this type just for this uh, um, you couldn't get this many turns on two one three plus it's it's so small narrow circumference a couple of tire ups together will soon fix it to your boom or whatever this is for a vertical I did one uh, yesterday set it up on the dustbin without this put this on and uh, my matching section and shoved it up 35 foot above a tree didn't did move one little bit but in the past I haven't used them I only just started using them to tell you the truth I know it was a nightmare another nightmare shove it up you've lost it you know take it down adjust it and all it is it was this it was a choke balance you needed a good one this seems to work 6 meters 11 turns that's it Two, four, six, eight, something, eleven, isn't it? Yeah, my antennas are balanced. Need a, a matching section. You wouldn't need one on a, a V2000 or a commercial vertical, but mine are balanced. Own brew. I will put some tie wraps, but just lightly, just to give it some extra support but it will get them as well when it goes on the antenna the lower part of the antenna but I won't be putting it sideways on the boom like this it will go that way that the boom will be going across so that I'm giving them support, pulling them slightly towards the boom or the antenna bottom 
not this way because all you're going to do is just upset and pull pull them apart can you hear those chickens and you know they're not in my garden no it's not Bulgaria either either you think you can do that and then you gradually push it off nice and nice and gently you don't want to uh, waste all that hard work do you works well put yourself just enough what you need at the end that's all I need at the top part or maybe even less than that use whatever connectors you want to use see you later just to show you what it's like when it's off there it is nice and neat isn't it? so your, your boom or your pole will go this way so that you're pulling the coax into that not not like this and then the tie wraps through the center we'll pull it apart it's got to be like that all nice and even tweaking on the uh, tie wraps but don't don't squeeze the coax together 